The Center for Democracy and Development and other countries' civil society groups has called on the Independent National Electoral Commission to learn lessons from the Presidential National Assembly to improve on the coming elections. The call was made in Abuja on Friday as the center gets, gets set for the governorship and the State House of Assembly elections tomorrow, Saturday, the 18th of March, 2023. Plus TV Manuel Hijene completes the report. 25th of February, 2023 presidential and national assembly elections may have come and gone, but it has thrown so many questions begging for answers for the electoral umpire, INEC. The Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, in collaboration with Order Civil Society, has joined Order Concerned Nigerians to X-ray what actually happened during the build-up to the elections, during the elections and after, with many condemning the final outcome. Issues of electoral violence, insecurity, vote buying, amongst others, were some of the issues that resonated from the last elections, and all these were alighted by the Chairman, Center for Democracy and Development Elections Analysis Center, during the press briefing as the attempt to profile recommendations towards the next round of elections. We occupy the center stage uh, in the elections that are taking place tomorrow, and uh, we hope that. Voter turnout will be higher than it was uh, during the presidential and national assembly elections. And there will be little vote trading that has said, uh, unlike what happened during the 25th February elections. According to CDD, over 109 electoral violence were recorded during the February 25th polls, as well as issues of transparency of the process, which has raised more burden on the electoral umpire as it prepares for Saturday's election. The group for the enlightened several states like Lagos, Ademawa, Zamfara, Sokoto, amongst others for special focus, as these states will be keenly contested. Also important is the management of logistics, particularly with the one month, that they, the one week extra they have had. We expect that there will be prompt opening of polls, adequacy of election materials, and better trained staff in these elections with the transmission, the upload of results to IREC completed in record time and are set out in their own regulations itself. While the officials and head of staff should abide by the code of conduct they also um, signed on to. However, the Executive Director, Civil Society and Legislative and Advocacy Center, Awal Rafsanjani, However, urged citizens to go all out and vote on Saturday, despite the disappointment of the outcome of the February 25th polls and shown all forms of electoral violence. This time around, they should be able to do, you know, um, you know, conduct themselves in a very organized and tabling manner which will be creating doubt on Nigerians. Uh, otherwise, if we you know, uh, repeat what had happened previously, many Nigerians might not want to be participating in the election again. And that is not good because we need Nigerians to participate in the electoral process uh, so that they can hold you know, um, elected official and government official you know, um, uh, to account. The CSOs urged INEC to ensure that this time around the governorship and state houses of assembly elections are not just free, fair, and credible but it must redeem itself to change the negative perception Nigerians now have about the community. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.